Okay, so today we are going to learn how to create a lesson enrollment sheet in Google Forms. So I have one here, and this is the one that I use, and we are going to recreate this in Google Forms. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the website um, forms.google.com. It'll take you here, and you're going to create a blank form. So you just start there. Now, first of all, you can change the color of your form. Mine here is purple, but say you want it to be different. You can change the, the text. So maybe you don't want Roboto. Maybe you want to use Helvecchia. So that's going to change that for you. The question text can be changed as well. You can change all of this. Maybe your colors are blue and you want your form to be blue. Um, you can have them purple, teal, the possibilities are endless. Okay, now I'm going to switch all this back to Roboto, which is where it was. Okay, so now that's how you change the theme. Now it's time for you to put your questions in. So one thing you can do is make the questions required or not. So the first ones you're going to want to be required. So you put name. Okay. Now Google Forms is smart and it automatically changed this to short answer. But if you want it to be a different option, you click on that box and you have all of these options to use. Okay. To add a question, you go over here and hit the plus sign for add question. This one will let you import previous questions. You can add a title and description. You can add an image in, a video, a new section. Right now, we're going to add a question. So, phone number. It automatically changed it there for me to, to uh, short answer. Add another one. And let's say, what days are you available for lessons? Okay, so this automatically changed it to check boxes for me, but I could have also done that. It also gives you options here. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can check all the days you want in there. Okay, so now I have Friday and Saturday backwards. All I have to do is come over here, click on this, drag it up, and now they're in order. Okay, now what? What times are you for lessons? Okay, so now this one has automatically given me rows. We don't want rows and columns here. We don't want a multiple choice grid. So instead, I prefer check boxes here. So we're going to change that to check boxes. And maybe you're available from 2 to 4 or 4 to 6 or 6 to 8. You can put those in. By doing check boxes, they can check all that apply. Perhaps you only want them to check one. You can change that to multiple choice. Now they can only check one. Other. Now they have the option where they can fill in the blank for other here. So these are all options you could do. Let's say you want to add a long answer question. Um, maybe you want to get a testimonial for your studio. And I can't spell testimonial apparently. Okay, so notice because it's a question like that, it doesn't really know what to do. It's going to multiple choice, yes, no, maybe. But you want a spot for them to do a testimonial. Well, you can go through here and select paragraph. Now they have the option to give a long answer. Now, this one's going to be optional, so we're not going to make it required. This one you need. All you have to do is toggle the switch to required answer. Toggle the switch to required answer. Toggle and toggle. Now, 
in the here's your title of your form so fall lessons 2022 okay and then you can do a description of the form here all you have to do and you can make the description as detailed or as simple as you want for a private lesson registration form i recommend highly detailed so you can see mine here lessons are taught uh, lessons begin the first week of august they are available both in person and online i will be doing in-person lessons at these schools please be as detailed as possible with your lesson time selections okay so all of this is here now under the settings section you can manage how your responses are collected you can automatically collect email addresses now if you do that you don't want to include the email address option so you would go back to questions now the email is here you just click on this one and hit this little trash can delete that one's gone okay also in the settings you can send responders a copy of their response you can allow them to edit their response you can limit them to one response Okay, so all of those are options in settings. Um, presentation, how are the forms in the process? You can have a progress bar. You can change up the question order. I don't think I would do that on this sort of thing. But you have all of these options you can do. And then there are some defaults that you can set. Collect email address by default. That means every form that you create is automatically gonna collect email addresses. Now. You have all this. Once you have sent out your form, we should talk about how to do that. So to send the form, you're gonna click the send button over here. Now here you can add individual emails. You can type a message and you can click this box to include e form and email. And that way in the email itself, they don't have to click any button. The form is right there and they can fill it out in the email. You also have this link option. Now, this is great if you need to text the form to students. I recommend you click shorten URL so it's short, sweet, and easy. You can simply copy it and add it to a note or a Google Sheet that you can open on your phone and text to your students that way. This gives you embeddable code so you can put the form directly on your website. You can also share it on Facebook or Twitter. So if your studio has a Facebook page, you can just click share on Facebook and it will automatically go to your studio's Facebook page. Okay, now what do we do when we start getting the answers in? Well, here is an example. This is an old one and I had 19 responses. So you could see the summary responses. You can see response by question. You can also view individual responses. I'm not going to give you private student information, though. So here's the great thing. As you go through the summary, and I'm going to skip through the emails to the graphs, you see data you're collecting. Okay, name, not that important. Phone number, graph. Where would you prefer to take lessons? Now, I teach at a variety of schools, so I can see where my students are coming from. Okay, there's a lot of students coming from Blackman High. You can see which ones want to take in your home, which ones want to take online. So this is a great way to see that at a glance. Okay, here, this is a question I always include. I give Dr. Lawson permission to use my child's photo in the studio newsletter. As you can see, 16 people said yes and two people said no. I had a lot of not responses last year that I had to text individually. And I understand that lessons are to be paid monthly. Everybody agreed to that. I understand lessons must be canceled in 24 hours. I agreed to that. Everybody agreed to that too because it was required. They had to click yes or no. And then they can leave you individual. So this person, four o'clock Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or five o'clock on Wednesdays preferred. Home studio, Thursday, every other week, 3.15 or 3.30. So students can give you very specific answers. Now, it would take forever to go through each one of these individual forms, right? So we don't have to do that. Instead, you can click this button right here and save yourself tons of time. 
when you click this button, it opens all of your data right inside a Google Sheet. So you can sort this way. So if you want to sort by location here, location is in file E or column E. Select the entire document, go to data, sort range, advanced sort options. Data has a header row. Select short sort range by where would you prefer to take lessons? A to Z sort. Now I know I have all of these students sorted by location. Okay, you can sort using that option for any column that you want. Okay, you want to know whose you can use your photo? Well, you can sort that way. So if I go to data, sort range, advanced, data has a header row. We want to sort by I give Dr. Lawson permission. Sort. The two no's are up here all the yeses are down here. You know exactly who you can use. So these are ways that you can use Google Sheets or Google Forms to create a lesson enrollment sheet.